I'm so sorry. <laughs> My daughter loves social media and <laughs> I'm a hairdresser so she would like for me to um, tell her about the fashion shows where I used to work for and I got the privilege to work for Univision and Telemundo and she had told me she wanted to be on TV because she wanted to be viral all the time. <laughs> And this is not the way I wanted my baby to be viral. So sorry, guys. This just broke me down. No. I apologize. Tell the community in regards to what happened and what's going on right now, and maybe some of your feelings as to the demand that uh, was captured for killing your daughter. Um, Can you step up he, to the microphone? Yeah, please. So, is he out or not? Uh, he's out. Okay. So, my first question is why is this person out? That is, as a dad, seeing my wife, I've been up since 3 in the morning, she has not stopped crying. It's just three in the morning. Uh, I know I don't show it. Uh, I'm trying to be uh, a little bit hard, harder. Yeah. But I, my question is, this person is out. I try to ask and confirm, why is this person out on bond? My daughter's not here. Uh, how are these things possible? Uh, I just don't get it. You know, how long does it take for you to uh, update the status? You know, this happened yesterday. It took two days and then now he's out. You know, uh, those are some of the questions that I have for, uh, who, I mean, whoever's in charge of this. Uh, but we're gonna find out and we're gonna put our foot down and we want just we want justice for Arlene. Okay. We greatly appreciate that we do know who it is, and we're going to have justice. And, uh, just, just tell them that, uh, just so we can just take it right out of the equation, that this is not a self-defense case. So just please, please tell the community at large, how close was this man from your truck when he sprayed the truck right through with that pistol? This was not a self-defense. To, 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 to an extent, it's not a self-defense uh, I can tell, like I told my lawyer, I guarantee this person don't even have a, I can't even say it. He probably don't even have an account there at Chase. I don't know. Uh, but the person was already away, at least 100 foot away from you when he was spraying. He shot the, just stopped. He shot the guy, towards the guy four times. That is when you know, I try to shout, you know, to my kids and my family to get down. Because as a dad, I don't, we don't know where, whether we're doing the right thing or not. Uh, I told him, I told everybody to get down, and Arlene's the only one that didn't get down. She had her headphones in. We were like, I, duck down, <laughs> duck down, Arlene. <laughs> then I didn't scream loud enough. I didn't know she had her earphones on. That's when we sped forward. We sped forward. Uh, literally, he was probably about 10 feet away from my vehicle and still continue to uh, spray the vehicle. One shot the gas tank. One probably was more, I don't know, but I know this other one was where it hit my daughter in the head. Uh, she did go down immediately, and I seen it. Uh, I immediately stopped, pulled her out the vehicle. It is not something that I don't. Get, man, nobody, I hope nobody ever goes through this. Nobody has experience for this type of stuff. Uh, I didn't know what to do either. <laughs> I didn't even know how to call 911 whenever that's like the easiest thing that you could do. <laughs> to see my daughter, they took us to the ambulance. The moment they told me that they couldn't do nothing about it, I didn't want to let her go. <laughs> they told me, ma'am, I'm so sorry, but she's brain dead. And I was like, I want to have her <laughs> with me. And then <laughs> they just had her in the machine, but they told me there's nothing we could do. She's already dead. She's not going to make it.
I was like, do her something, please. I want a miracle and a testimony on my baby. And it wasn't like that. That was not the case. My baby, she was a warrior. <laughs> but this case, she did not. <laughs> she, she didn't battle it right. My baby left. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm sorry for my language. My, yeah. my, my daughter. <laughs> oh, her dog. We want everybody to know who she was. I mean, she was a, a fourth grader. Oh, um, she was an old soul. Um, took care of her siblings, which were in the vehicle at the time of the shooting as well, uh, in, including a baby. Um, she got along with everyone. She loved to make TikTok videos. She was as happy as could be. Uh, she enjoyed eating whatever her dad ordered at dinner. If he ordered a steak, she wanted a steak. And, you know, she was just a... Uh, an, an enjoyable little person that just absolutely just love life and uh, the probably the person that may feel the worst in here is probably her dad because that uh, his job was to protect his family he worked all the time to give him a better life and uh, you know he feel like somehow you know he could have maybe stopped it prevented it somehow and you know that weighs you know heavy on on him and he, he's trying to be strong for the whole family but it's a it's a big burden and uh you know, uh, at this point in time, our, our prayers are really with this family as they try to grieve and, and, and get through this process. But this is not the first time that this has happened at that infamous address of 2900 Woodridge. So, you know, within five months, we have another senseless killing at an ATM machine at the same address. And we have to start asking questions of why are there not an off-duty police officer there? Why is not a personal security guard there? Why don't they hire private contractors? Why is the ATM still operating after hours on a premises that is full of crime after crime after crime after crime? And this is all pursuant to the data from the Houston Police Department. And you can look it up on an open records request we did in the Colox. So this was a sequence of events that took place directly correlated to 2900 Woodridge. And, you know, this family ended up losing the most precious thing that they have. It's just with one of their children who's a beautiful kid and a senseless killing. I well, do want to know, again, why is he out? Uh, now I gotta leave here and paperwork from funeral, funeral arrangements, and now he's out sleeping in his bed peacefully. Look at my wife. I haven't been able to sleep because of her. Uh, not being selfish, but just it also hurts me, but I just try to be strong for them. But like I said, we just want to know why is he out. That's, that's the main concern right now. And I'm going to push as much as I can, get those answers, and figure out what what are we going to do about this. And all these gun killing. Uh, My daughter was known to love babies. She was a, a, a caretaker. And and she will see a baby, she will carry the baby. <laughs> I had a little hair still on it. I would allow my customers to bring their babies in and my daughter would take care of them as long as I got their, their, their mommy time because a lot of mommies don't have babysitters. So it was okay in our shop, we let that happen. And it's just, I know Arlene, she's fighting right now for justice, for all these kids that are getting killed innocent adults too i mean everybody in general and my daughter had a connection with everybody and maybe this had to happen to my daughter <laughs> so the word could be out and this needs to be changed i just want justice for my baby and people need to stop having road rage they need to stop having all this anger towards them and start shooting like crazy because there's a lot of innocent little babies <laughs> this year she was so excited to turn 10 and we're preparing uh, to take her photo shoot, her gowns, and I had already gonna, I was preparing to order that, and now I'm getting ready for all her funerals. I don't even know what to choose. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I was not prepared for none of this. It just hurts me so much. It's just gonna hurt me forever. But I just want justice for my baby girl. My baby girl, she was a fighter. I know. Is there any any other questions from anyone else but his family? They're they're grieving right now, so we just want to make things somewhat great, brief. Please. Any questions? Can I get some words in Spanish? Um, for 
Spanish? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is the question as far as Spanish? Este, quiero pedir disculpas que no tengo. La verdad no puedo ver a las cámaras. No, no puedo ver a nadie en, la, en los ojos porque es un dolor inevitable. Es algo que yo miraba en las noticias. Yo me gustaba compartir y nunca pensé que era algo que yo iba a pasar por esa experiencia. Este es un dolor eh, que no se lo deseo a nadie. Mi niña era mi todo, mi mejor amiga. Yo no tenía amigas por, por dedicarme a mis hijos, a mi trabajo, a mi esposo. Este, y me duele mucho. Y yo quiero que se haga justicia y no es justo que lo dejen salir como si nada. Like, mi niña... Esto no fue cosa de Dios, no fue cosa de destino. Me la arrebataron por un enojo y rabia que tenía porque él estaba disparando incontrolablemente. No estaba en control y es algo que, que lo tengo grabado. <risa> Llegué a la casa y al oler su ropa, <risa> donde dejó sus cosas favoritas. <risa> Mi niña tiene su bisabuelita le gustaba tejer, ella conect se conectaba con cualquier persona que ella amaba. Uh, yo puedo hablar infinito de mi niña porque era mi todo, ¿sí me entiendes? Y yo ya tenía a mi niña, mis, mis dos niños, mi bebé, mi niño, ella ya era mi reina, ya yo no ocupaba nada. Me quitó mi bebé, mi reina. Ay, no, es un dolor. Que no se lo deseo a nadie. Más quiero justicia para Arlen y, y todos los niños y muchas víctimas que están en la calle no se merecen esto. Yo creo. ¿Tú ves? ¿Tú, papá? ¿Quieres decir algo? Gracias, uh -huh. Hago una pregunta en español. En la parte legal, ¿qué es lo que van a actuar ahora mismo? La, la, la parte legal en estos momentos es la investigación de la policía uh, verdaderamente a lo que pasó. Uh, lo que vemos es que no fue un acto de, uh, de defensa propia en, en, en lo que pasó. Eh, lo que pasó es que tuvo una persona que el momento donde cogió su pistola y empezó a disparar la pistola, que ya no estaba esa persona en, en una... Uh, en, en una posición donde le iban a hacer un daño físico o un daño a su propiedad. En ese momento ya la espalda de la persona que lo había robado estaba puesta al, a uno, estaba corriendo del de lugar, en ese momento estaba tratando de escaparse después del robo. Entonces cuando uno agarra la pistola en ese momento, pues ya pierde el derecho de defenderse a su persona, porque en ese momento ya no está... Eh, la situación o la posición donde algo te va a pasar físicamente porque se ha removido verdaderamente de donde estaba el, 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 la persona que cometió el robo. Cuando uno saca la pistola y empieza a disparar después de eso, entonces pues estás disparando a personas, como en este caso, que estaban manejando el camión de, del papá, estaban yendo por donde estaban supuestos a estar yendo y entonces sale una persona con una pistola mira al camión del señor con su familia y verdaderamente empieza a disparar directamente al camión, 10 pies del camión, y no una vez, pero vez, después de vez, después de vez, después de vez, hasta que le mataron la niña. So, en ese momento, el intento de matar a otra persona está presente. Por eso es un asesino. Y así está el caso. It's not a self-defense case on, on the basis of, of the facts surrounding the, 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 uh, the case. The circumstances are, once you go ahead and you, you commit a robbery and you take your gun and you hold somebody out at gunpoint, once you take your gun and you run off, you have your back turned to the individual you just robbed, at that point in time, the individual that was robbed is no longer in immediate threat or fear of their imminent safety. So now at that point in time, okay, 
you lose your right to self-defense because you don't have that threat anymore. It's now removed. The, the greater the distance between the two individuals, the, the less of, of a matter of law you can actually use that defense because, again, you're not under the threat. If that person is not firing back and now they're running away from you, you take out your pistol and you give chase. At that point in time, you become the aggressor. At that point in time, a set of circumstances went ahead and began, which was dad then driving down the road as a civilian with his family. This man took it upon himself to say, oh, they must be involved in a robbery, okay, when they weren't. Then went ahead and approached his truck 10 feet away and then intentionally, knowingly, and recklessly took his pistol, aimed it at the truck, and fired shot after shot after shot after shot going inside the actual truck. They had a baby in the truck who could have been killed. The siblings could have been killed. Mom could have been killed. He could have been killed. But, you know, they, they, they took away the a precious little girl, nine years old, that was killed as a direct consequence of an individual that was no longer in threat of imminent fear for his life or his safety and took it upon himself to go ahead and kill somebody. It's murder. I know it's very early. Are you considering legal action against Chase or anyone else? Chase, Chase Bank is, yes. And, and the reason is, Chase Bank, the, the sequence of events that began the, this tragedy for this family started at 2900 Woodridge ATM yes. location. How did it start? We have somebody walking up with a hoodie up to another individual with a gun. It sounds familiar because that's what happened with Mary Jane uh, back in October. Same location, same ATM machine. Hoodie on, walked over to her with a pistol, shot and killed her. In this case, now it's a robbery, but it turns into a shootout. In Mary Jane's case, there was also a shootout because there was an off-duty police officer that ran to the scene at that time to render aid to her and actually saw this criminal that had just killed her running off with a pistol and there was an exchange of like gunfire. So this is not the first time they actually had a shootout on this premises. And you figure there will be a lesson learned from what happened with Mary Jane. Maybe they would put an off-duty police officer after hours. Maybe they would hire a, a private company that's adequately trained to provide private security on the premises to at least have uh, at least a visual of a physical presence and authority being there, maybe to deter criminal activity or behavior, which transpired at this particular branch almost on a daily basis. If you look at the call logs, you have a car stolen from there just about every other day. You have drugs, narcotic dealing going on almost routinely. You have assaults, aggravated assaults. You had a robbery in August, on August the 2nd of last year. You had a robbery on September 23rd of last year. You have a robbery that turns into a murder, which is completely foreseeable the way that's going in October when Mary Jane was killed. And then five months later, you have a robbery that turns into another murder because this is the premises and this is what it breeds because they have done zero to prevent this from happening. The proper measures are not in place for obvious reasons, or else the criminal would not continue to habitually visit this establishment or the premises and feel like they have to commit violent crimes. So, I mean, it, 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 statistically, it is what it is. And if your bank happens to be in an area where maybe there's more crime than others, then it is your duty and your responsibility that if you have your customers coming on and using your 24 hours ATM machine that you're making money off of, to at least do something to protect them. Maybe have it in a glass. Maybe don't offer the service if you can't protect it. Maybe have an off-duty police officer. Turn it off. Turn it off. Million things you could do. But you don't continue to offer the service knowing that a crime is going to happen that would lead to someone losing their life because it has happened before. And this is not an incident that happened uh, that's remotely removed. It's five months. And the sequence of events in the last 24 months are outrageous for any premises in this city. So that's the reason why, uh, you know, Chase Bank needs to be accountable uh, for what happened in the chain of, of sequence of events that began on their premises again. What is Again, uh, otra vez, you want to answer that for me? Queremos justicia. Why is oh, she wants that? So, what would you say to the judge that has 
quisiera decirle que me devolviera a mi niña, pero es algo que no le puedo pedir. Pero yo, yo quisiera que, que, que le den su, su castigo, que se merece. Porque no, 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 esto, esto no tenemos que pasar. No tiene ninguna razón que él está afuera ahorita, si es, si es la razón. Uh, si es verdad, no hay razón porque él será fuera ahorita. It is, it is obvious that this man is, este hombre es responsable por matar a una niña de nueve años. Este hombre ahora en la comunidad es un riesgo al resto de la comunidad. Ya mató a una niña, la mató con una pistola. Tuvo una pistola y disparó al camión de un papá que estaba con su familia. En este momento, dejar esta persona que verdaderamente es un animal caminando por aquí, en estos momentos, no, no creo, y la familia no cree que eso es una buena idea para la comunidad, que un juez deje a alguien e ir eh, por lo que pasó y lo que pasó con la niña. Verdaderamente, el dolor que ellos sienten, quieren ellos que este hombre que mató a la niña lo sienta igualmente. And Mr. Alvarez, I'm sorry, just if one more time in English, you could give your message to uh, Earls and the judge. I don't have no message to that person. The only message I have to the judge again, why is he out? He's probably sleeping a bit much better than my daughter and my wife. It's not fair. I can sleep. I'm a man. I'm not going to let another man that took my daughter's life sleep with. I'm going to put my foot down. I will make sure. Everything is done right. And that's the person I am. That's how we are. That's why I have all my family here. That's how we are. As a family, we're going to put our foot down. And we're going to get answers. Why don't you share just any, any fond memories of your daughter for us? Like the, anything that comes to your mind? Like something that you really memories. That you take you comfort right now? There's a lot. It's a lot of memories. It's going to break my wife here. You guys want to hear all that? Uh, it's up to you guys. You want to tell them your memories? Papa, ¿quieres compartir recuerdos con Adelaide? ¿Quieres saber? Leslie? Let my dad talk. Oh, sorry. Um, he's too light. We used to um, open a lot of toys for life. <laughs> we would always play. We would have so much fun. Since we, we were little, like. We grew up together. She liked to do nails. She loved to do nails with um, Adeline. Um, Always riding her scooter uh, throughout Grandpa and Grandma's drive driveway. Um, she she's super talented for sure. Um, she likes to be on camera all the time. Facebook lives. Facebook lives. TikTok. TikTok. A anything what your nine year olds are doing right now. That's what she likes to do. So I'm pretty sure that can relate to that a lot of parents out there can relate right now uh, my question um, also is to uh, why are these guns landing on the hands of irresponsible people um, of most of us here we we have the proper training um, we have a license to carry uh, we, under we understood, that's, that's the reason why we understand right now that this was not self-defense, because it wasn't. Just how uh, our lawyer here just stated right now, you know, that self-defense was, was away from you whenever, you know, whoever robbed you, you know, okay, I'm shook. No, I'm not gonna think like, oh, let me grab my gun and just start shooting. I'm not gonna start doing that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna panic inside, call 911, something. You're not just gonna go open fire. Like, where do you, where do you think you, your bullets are, are going? You know, there's so much activity going on. You know, he 
he's responsible. As we also need to get an update uh, on also the the robber. He's also responsible too. You know, because he robbed this ATM or person. This person took it to another level as well. Everybody, everybody needs to be hold accountable. And uh, Arlene has all of us here. Uh, we're, very, we're a very united family. So we're gonna come after everybody. What's your name please? What's your name? My name is Abigail Alvarez Solis. What's your relation? I am Arlene Alvarez's aunt. Can you spell Solis, right? Solis, S-O-L-I-S. Is, are they, is she your sister or how? I'm Armando. She's my sister. Alvarez's sister. So, what, do you, yeah. what do you think of your brother? How would you describe him and his wife? Uh, well, right now, I think my brother, um, he's being very, uh, he's being very strong. Uh, admire him for that. Um, he's trying to keep it together for his family, uh, for Wendy, for the kids. Uh, we're not. This is just a, tra a tragedy uh, for all of us. And we need to have justice for our lead. ¿Podría preguntar acerca del peluche que tiene? Ay. Le, me le grabaron sus, sus últimas palpitaciones del corazón. Lo estamos arreglando porque queríamos comprarle su última muñeca. Y, Y ese es el único último muñeco que me dejó. As I was preparing for my daughter's uh, 15, we wanted to get ahead. We gotta start planning since right now, because that's me. I've always liked to plan ahead. And our tradition is to get her last doll, get her dressed up, the same dress. And instead I got left with this teddy bear with her last heartbeat and oh no it's just they the hospital was being super good they gave us her last hand paintings it's just this is her right now this is my baby this is what i got this is this is my early now y este es el osito es mi niña últimas palpitaciones antes de que me la desconectaran. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. Can we get her name? Sure. What's your name? My name is Leslie Castellanos. Can you spell Leslie and Castellanos, please? My Leslie is spelled L E S L I E, and my last name is C A S T E L L A N O S. My son, his name is Romano. <laughs> He's another warrior. He also saw everything. He saw everything. My son, um, yeah. his speech delay, and my daughter would do everything for him, right, Daddy? Yeah. And now he's advanced so much, and my son saw everything. But she's our little angel, right, Gordo? Yeah. You're gonna miss Gordy? Yeah. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. okay. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Gonzalez would like to give his condolences. Don't mind. No, come here, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mary James, I'm sorry that I haven't 
to my house pretty early. It's been lagging. Thank you so much. Whatever y'all need, whatever I can do to help. For a vigil. <laughs> My favorite vigil. Yeah. We're, having we're having a vigil today at 6, 6, 6.30ish. Today's vigil at the scene. Yeah. Only for closure. For, uh, I mean, we still live in the area, so I'm not going to be afraid to still go by there. So it's only for closure today, tonight. Uh, nothing else. <laughs> and after that, it'll be funeral. So hopefully... You guys want to make it? Anybody say Arlene likes to show. She likes seeing everybody. She would love to attention. So we're gonna give her her balloon release. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.